good morning it's another day at the junkyard and today we're just here to see what we can find and we do have one request but haven't gotten a confirmation back from the guy but in the meantime there is a new row it is cold this morning it is 40 degrees out here which maybe in some parts of the country that's not cold but it's cold for georgia but I got some new stuff out here. Let's see what we got. Jeep, Toyota pickup. Another Jeep. Another Jeep. Another Jeep and another Jeep. What's up with everybody wrecking their Jeeps? Of course, there's nothing on those Jeeps I can use. Actually, I might get a brake light off of that blue Jeep right there. What? You don't carry a badminton racket around the junkyard with you? Don't ask questions. Let's see, it's still got the brake light. This is a Patriot. Now I have a Jeep brake light at home that hasn't sold. I think it was... I think it's off a of Patriot too. The ones off of the newer Liberties sell. I know the ones off these Commanders don't. They go for like 15 bucks. That's just not worth it. But they cost 7 plus tax to pick up. Where are these Jeeps? I don't know down in there they needed. Maybe they just needed that trim piece. Well, they finished filling up this line over here. I need to start coming here in the afternoon more so I can actually point the camera in more than one direction. Oh, look at that. Hey, that's a new Maxima. 2014 Altima. It's a pretty new one. Let's put this out here. Lots of smashy smashy going on here. kids that door stuck this car had the key tag from the dealership the window sticker lifetime Kia Murphy North Carolina $21,840. I think this fell out of there too. Well, maybe it didn't. Let's go to this car. What's up with that? Let's see. Does this hat fit? Yep, it fit. So that came out of this. Bubba Sharp. What else we got in here? Well, you don't need their personal information here today. Okay. Alright, they just put out this Murano with these LED tail lights. Let me see if I can get them. Just have to figure out how to get the tail light off. Should be too hard, right? This is one I haven't done before. Been looking at some pictures online, looks like there's a bolt here and here. Let me get this piece off here to access it. Look at that. And we got two millimeter bolts. 
please? That's a Volkswagen. <laughs> <laughs> I hope so, hey, you know what you're doing. It's supposed to be a few rows that genuine Nissan before I pull Sometimes you'll find cars out here that have been rented and they've been replaced with aftermarket taillights. Those aren't as popular, so you have to make sure they actually have the Nissan branding on them or wherever manufacturer you're getting. I'm just skipping on this one. But, I think it's broken. I don't care as much. Thank <laughs> you. 
put them in here so they don't bump on each other. At least not the parts that matter. Maybe take a picture of the VIN number. I get the right part number. Alright. On to the next. Alien green soul and a orange element hanging out here together. Looks just like the one that has a rental car for about a week. Same same year too. What are the odds that it's it? Is that no way annoying because I don't know what the VIN number was. I thought I'd already looked at this row, but I guess I hadn't, because I would have seen this mirror. Yep, I'm gonna take it. was that? <laughs> Flying to get a camera over there. So we missed that. This might be a whole new row and I just didn't even notice. So let's see. This Titan's got... What's this Titan got? Oh, there's a Pathfinder. Fog lights. No. Nothing of interest there. Let's see. Alright, see this right here. This means this truck did not have fog lights, but it was pre-wired for it. So it doesn't have the fog light switch. So I don't have to bother looking at it. Another Pathfinder. This one does have fog lights, but is it a model with automatic headlights? Uh -oh, I and an automatic headlights. Oh, this is a newer one. About it for today. I went back over to that pathfinder I was looking at a little while ago and got the brake light off of it. There's two guys over there trying to remove the tail lights off a pickup truck with a wire strap. Didn't bring any tools with them. So I let them borrow mine. Comes out here, go pull it yourself, junk card without any tools. It doesn't make any sense. Thanks for joining me at the junk card today. Hope you enjoyed watching me wander around and looking at wrecked cars. I do take part requests, so send your requests to introventures for gmail.com. If you saw any cars I hear that you need to part from, I do try to stick with smaller things I can just remove with simple hand tools, and I stay away from things like seat belts and airbags. Any smaller interior trim part, buttons, switches, mirrors, handles, anything like that, just send me an email. I'll see what I can do. And maybe you'll see your part get removed in a future video. Thanks for stopping by. All right, well, that's it for today's junkyard adventure. We ended up with those Murano tail lights, that Pathfinder brake light, and that compass and temperature mirror, the home link from that Infinity QX56. And we walked 0.72 miles today, so that's not too bad. Well, that's it for today's trip, and I'll see you again next time. Thanks for stopping by. Good. Let's look around to the sun, aren't we?